Welcome to Legal Update Live for August of 2013. I'm Tracy Rucka, the Director of Professional Standards and Practices here at the Wisconsin Realtors Association. And with me we have Debbie Conrad, who is our Senior Attorney and Director of Legal Affairs. So August, it's the month for the legislative update. Uh, the legislature has been active and this legal update summarizes some of those legislative changes that deal with real estate practice. Uh, Deb, do you want to tell us a bit about some of those relevant topics for our members? Sure, Tracy. Actually, a lot of things that we're going to talk about are all coming from the state budget. I mean, sometimes people think that the budget just is all about numbers and appropriations and that sort of thing, but the reality is there are many substantive provisions that appear in the budgets, and the one that was just recently enacted and went into effect on July 2nd is no exception. For instance, the budget contains a new law that says that local municipalities can't enact ordinances or continue to enforce any ordinances that are out there that regulate real estate brokers or brokerage practice. So that means that cities, counties, towns, villages, and so forth can't have those types of ordinances. The problem is there are some ordinances like that out there and in increasing numbers. For instance, one Wisconsin community has an ordinance that says that the broker can be made responsible if the seller doesn't correct the code violations by closing. There's another community that says that um, brokers can't sell properties to sex offenders. And regardless of what you think about that, in Wisconsin, the regulation of real estate brokers comes at the state level, and there's a fair amount of that. And there's also some federal regulation. I mean, we can't really function very well in a system where there's all these different local rules and ordinances that have different restrictions on brokers, um, that is, is a logistic nightmare to try to keep track of. I'm in this town, so there, these are the rules, and I'm in this community, so these are the ordinances in effect, and that's a, a very burdensome and costly thing to try to do. And at the end of the day, that would make properties more expensive. So it's a good thing that the budget contains this new statute, putting an end to this practice. Another example is, you may recall a few years back the um, recording fee at the Register of Deeds, Deeds was $25. They added a $5 increase so that the Register of Deeds could redact or black out the Social Security numbers in the public documents that appeared online. Um, that process seems for the most part to have been completed, but what the budget bill does, it takes that $5 that was for redaction and redirects it. And with the goal of having a uniform system of having online land information from all 72 counties. So this would mean you could get information for the address, the zoning, the acreage, the property tax assessment information, and have a uniform format for that to appear and you could search it and access it online. So for that project, the target goal is June 30th, 2017. So that's just an example of some of the provisions in the state budget bill. Tracy, mm -hmm. what did you want to comment on? Well, um, mine is the budget bill strikes again, I guess. Uh, we know WIDA um, and their homeownership programs for mortgages and financing. Um, the newly enacted budget bill includes some provisions that allows uh, people to refinance. If someone has a, uh, a WIDA serviced loan or a WIDA loan itself, they are now going to be able to go in and get refinancing. Uh, the refinancing were, uh, was limited to some very narrow uh, things in the past. And so that's a, another opportunity that's been afforded uh, homeowners. So that's, I think, the one thing that I'm going to talk about what it has already passed, uh, I think that one of the things for our members to, to keep in mind is that the legislature is in session and right now they are looking at uh, modifying some of the landlord-tenant law again. And so we are uh, actively participating in that discussion and uh, I would recommend that you keep in uh, tune with us for updates on that when it becomes available. This uh, legal update gives us kind of what's happened thus far. Uh, a lot more topics than we had time to talk about today. You can look at this legal update online at www.wra.org forward slash legal updates. That's available to you 24 seven. Um, and hope you read this one, see what's happening, and we'll tune in again with you next month for more updates. Thanks.